Hello everyone, uh, I'm Prashant. Today I will be uh, going through the complex purchase order topic for Fusion. Here we have uh, we have to create new document style. Here if we go through this document style, so we need to enable this retain age, progress payment and work confirmation functionality. After that, we need to assign these privileges. So we need to create role if we want to create this role for buyer, for supplier or for procurement requester. So we need to give these privileges then need to give these job roles. So you can see very well, you can, I have listed down these duty roles, job roles. And then most important point is to execute this ESS job. The name of this ESS job is itself as ESS job to create index definition. So first we will provide the value as PO, then we will provide the value as work confirmation. So what it's doing, it's just giving the capability that we can search them. So this is something new. That's why I think Oracle would have given this process, which may go off after some time. And then we will start creating our complex purchase order. Then we will create our work confirmation. Once you create that work confirmation, uh, you can just submit all the details. Then when you find that which work confirmation line, you can add to work confirmation. It's added. Then you provide how much progress or how you can provide amount or you can provide the progress percentage. And then you can configure the work confirmation approval as well to manage work confirmation approval task. Then uh, once it's approved, once you submit that work confirmation, it can be approved. And next you can see that uh, creation of the invoice process. Once work confirmation has been created, you can go and create your invoice. And once your invoice is created, you will come to know that how much it has been retained. You can see here in my screenshot that there is some amount which has been retained as 300. Then once all the task is done and business says now your all work is done, now we would like to release the retainage. So retainage release type of invoice will be created. So this is the important thing. Earlier we selected standard invoice when we created. Then when we want to release the retainage amount, we need to select this type as retainage release. Then uh, we can go and see the PO details. So here we have ordered, delivered invoice, how much retained and how much we have released. We can see this part and when we let's see same thing in system as well. So I have logged in with the user ID and if I'm going to purchase order. So I have already created that roles with those privileges. So I'm not going to do that part again, but yes, I'm going to create one of the order. Um, I have also created the first step was to create new style where we were able to select these functionality that this functionality should be enabled in my order. So I will go and create one of the order. So I will select the style that I have created. I have created some CP complex PO with work confirmation test for demo and supplier let me <clears throat> Procurement view US1 and then supplier Lee supplies commonly we used to take the supplier and then just create. So here once this PO will be created, we will be providing the retainage percentage, how much we want to create. So just giving a description as uh, PO complex PO with work confirmation example. Then uh, I will be just going and add a line. Here line type is fixed price service. Fixed price goods I'm taking here. Test line or let's let's create a proper uh for confirmation like i am going to give a order for my park renovation so let me uh, say that uh, pavement maintenance 
category something if i have miscellaneous here just for this example base price 200 and scroll to right it says i can put that required delivery date maybe of 6th or anything that you want to put a requester my name is this user's name let's say we take three way because when we create invoice if we don't have work confirmation it should stop us so let's let match approval be three way and let's uh, invoice match option we will keep at receipt then main part was retainage suppose scroll to write now how much percentage of value i want to retain let me keep it as 10 percent straightforward or if you want to restrict that beyond this it should not go we can put a maximum retainage amount i am not taking that for this example uh, let me go with one line only we can create multiple lines but let's say we go with one line only so just click on save submit it so now once this is submitted as i told you work confirmation can be done by uh, by buyer by requester or by supplier so for my example i will be doing by buyer so let me check whether this po has been approved i have made that approvals as auto approved so i'm expecting it to get auto approved my order is not appearing because i have selected wrong you so this was in now open status if you click on this order let's suppose that uh, vendor has said i have completed the work could you please initiate the payment so for that we need to create work confirmation first so I'm creating a work confirmation as a buyer. So this could have been done from supplier login as well, but I'm not going through that process. I'm going through this uh, way where supplier is creating that. So here I will be click, I will click on this add schedule. I will find which line. So this line, and then I'm adding it to one confirmation. If I have multiple, then I can, select multiple lines or even one line whatever i want to put now i need to give how much amount completed or progress completed so if i say i have completed for this 50 uh, dollar now i say click on save if you want to put any comments if you want to say yeah this is received on when you have received this you can put that date so you can see this basic detail now click on submit it may take some time so you can see earlier one it's it will appear like this approved approved and pending approval if i go here in my buyer login or normal page and i click on search so i'm just waiting for the notification because i have kept approval as a buyer so if someone else would have been creating this so uh, how approval will be uh, someone should be approving and buyer should be the one who should be approving that so let's just see where we see that our uh, confirmation so this notification should appear here where it will say that it need, needs your approval now uh, let me go back on this document and just let you again know these are the important rules and privileges and uh, if you don't provide this you will not be able to create the work confirmation if you don't provide this you will not be view or search work confirmations 
And if you don't execute this, you won't even be able to search the purchase orders in your work confirmation screen. So these are the basic elements that you need to configure for your work confirmation. Now I'm just waiting for this. Yes, so I got this approval notification. I can click on approve. So this work confirmation has been approved. So if I just go and click, I just click on refresh. It should give me that how much ordered and how much completed. So this is completed till date. You have completed this. So you can create an invoice for this. Now let me go and create an invoice. Need to go to payables. And go to invoice. Let me create one invoice. Create invoice. So my order which I have copied, so I just click on tab. So all values are populated. I will be giving some invoice number and some in um, some amount and then match invoice lines. Click on this go button. This is the standard invoice which I'm creating at first. So once this invoice will be validated, I will show you. So, okay, okay, here on this page, you see how much I have received. Received is 50. Select this and say how much you have received. It's 50 and then click on apply and click OK. Now, go to invoice actions, calculate tax so that it give you the exact amount here. So I have, I have, I was able to create this because I have completed the work confirmation and this PU is three way match. So now you see 54.28. So this is the amount I need to put it here 54.28 and click on save. If you scroll down, you will see that it's saying, yes, we have added correct value. Now you see in this, how much I have retained 5% of 50. So that's the value you would be seeing that only 49 is due to be paid on this invoice. So if I go and click on invoice and click on validate, it's got, it got validated. I go to approval and if i if you want you can go for force approval it may give some error so i have not configured anything on invoice so let's go to purchase order and see what is the status now go to PO. go to procurement go to purchase order search your order Manage orders, search your order. Sorry again for this. Click on your order number. In detail, you can see this much order, this much total complete, this much invoiced and this much retained. If I click on view detail, I can see which invoice. So how much retain this one? Retainage release, nothing. So let's suppose this task has been completed. So just to save time, I'm not creating all the work confirmations and invoices. I'm just directly going and just try to create one of the retainage release, which will let you know the entire process. The last element is retainage release. So again, going back to payables, go to invoice, create one of the invoice, one new invoice. Click here and create invoice. 
this time again i will be putting the po number it will be populating all details and number just as two and amount something i'm aware of that amount was five but it will be calculated along with the text so this time be be cautious that you need to select the retainage release as the type of invoice and now again release by uh, retainage release by invoice lines and click on this go link and here select this you will see how much has been retained now retainage release amount is five even you can at this time change the amount it's not mandatory that you are going to release everything if you want that i want to release only two let it be two so you can release this and just go again and just click on calculate tax you will see what is the actual amount that we need to put it so it's 5.48 5.48 and then click on save scroll down voice click on validate go to your purchase order search your order the correct view then click on order number this time you will see total completed invoice retainage and even retainage released but one thing that you find it is strange you will be able to see only one of the invoice which says this much has been retained and this much has been even retainage released so this number is of work confirmation when you create one confirmation it acts as a receipt for you so that's all thank you